So here we have the Vauxhall Mocha SE Automatic on a 16 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside you can see it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. Let's start off inside the boot and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So as we approach the boot you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well along with the 60-40 split folding rear seat and then underneath this tray section even more space should you need it. Okay so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside but now that we've done a full circle of it you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way round. Just briefly before we climb in I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view you get full leather seats there's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. At the bottom, you'll see the total mass of this car. Uh, they are 30,293. You can change information displayed directly above that by using controls on the indicator stalk. And you can see there's various different bits of trip computer information available to you. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side we have cruise control and speed limiter and on the right hand side stereo and phone controls. The phone controls of course can only be used after such time as you've paired up the phone and that is done by pressing the phone button just here and then using the uh, dial that appears here to work your way down to Bluetooth settings and then follow the instructions on screen. When it comes to music in this car we have DAB AM and FM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. You can do that via the CD player, the auxiliary input, and the USB input. So plenty of ways to listen to music, all of which are accessed here. And you can see the CD player just there, and the main volume for the stereo, which was the first thing I was adjusting, uh, just here. Beneath that, we've got dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature, the driver temperature, the fan speed up and down from here. You could determine where within the car you'd like the air to be distributed. Air conditioning is on at the moment, so off or back on again. Or you can hit auto and the car will now maintain the temperatures you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that at any point in time you wish to just by readjusting the fans to your own uh, level. We've also got a heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same on the passenger side. And this button will turn on or off the heated steering wheel for the car. Beneath that, that button turns off the parking sensors. We then have auxiliary and USB inputs, as I mentioned, for your music. A 12 volt charging socket underneath that cap. The gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox and the plus and minus button on the top of that gear lever is so that you can change gear manually up and down should you wish to. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.